Marine Corps rifle qualification compared to competition shooting. Let's take a look at how the targets and standards compare in both. The Marine Corps qualification, what is currently called Table 1 of the Marine Corps Qual, is a version of the National Match Course. You shoot a series of shots from slow fire, in this case from sitting, kneeling, and standing at 200. There are rapid fire strings at 200 and 300 and a slow fire phase at 500. The current Marine Corps qualification targets are derived from old National Match Course targets. There's an A target or ABLE target used for the slow fire portions at 200 and 300, a D or DOG target for the rapid fire phases at 200 and 300, and a B modified target which is used at 500. These Marine Corps qualification targets are based on older national match course targets. You'll notice the previous target, the target A, had a 10 inch circle for the five ring and instead of the larger 12 inch that's currently used. Also notice the target used at 500, the B target, that was the original one. You'll notice it's a 20 inch circle with a 37 inch four ring. The Marine Corps made the four ring larger, expanding it out to 40 inches. And instead of using an aiming mark that was a circle, they use a full size silhouette that is now 40 inches tall and 20 inches wide. To give a size comparison, here is the Marine Corps B modified target with on the far right, a full size Jeep. The figure 11 target, which is used in some service condition matches, and on the far left, some IPSC steel targets. This is the national match course as typically used in competition. The critical differences between it and Marine Corps qualification is all of the short range slow fire portions shot at 200 is all shot from standing. There is no kneeling or sitting portion of it. Also, the long range slow fire is shot at 600 instead of 500. Competition targets are also smaller. Even back in the 1960s when the 5V targets were in common use, not only was the 5 ring, the bull, a smaller target in general, it also used a tie-breaking V ring. target we use for 300 yard mat shooting. It has a 10 inch bullseye or five ring with a three inch center V ring. Ties are usually settled by the number of shots that are inside of the V ring. That V ring proved critical. This is John Clerk. He was the 1965 rifle nationals champion. He shot a 250 with 50 V's and he wasn't the first shooter to do it. In fact, by then, it was common enough among top shooters that not only were they seeing perfect 250 point scores across the course, they were seeing perfect 50 V counts as well. And it was quickly being realized that they were going to see a nationals with multiple shooters firing a 250 with 50 Vs and no ability to break the tie. That is when the decimal targets started to become in use. Decimal targets have a maximum score value of 10 instead of 5 points. They also have an X ring inside the 10 ring as a tiebreaker versus a V ring. If you think of your Roman numerals, you understand why. The key point here is the size of the scoring rings, not the shape of the aiming mark or the bull. The size of a bullseye, if it's a black circle, for example, that's just a mark that you set your sights to. We can use a silhouette with scoring rings that are inside of it, internal to that, meaning that it requires a greater degree of accuracy than merely hitting the silhouette anywhere and saying that is always five points. For a size comparison, this is the B mod qualification target overlaid on an MR competition target. The MR target is the exact same dimensions as the MR1, 
which is shot at 600 yards instead of 500. The only difference there being that the seven ring is black on that target. So you can see the big difference there. The four and five ring completely engulf the seven ring and extend clear out to the six ring on the competition target. Shots that might give you full value on a qualification might score six out of 10 points on a competition target. But wait, competition shooters get to use fancy match grade equipment. You can't rightfully compare their results to qualification. Well, that is a popular excuse. And once again, your excuse is invalid. See, we've tested this. Service conditions competitions requires the use of issue equipment and uniforms. That is, we shoot these matches with the same equipment that you qualify on, M16, M4, right from the arms room with issue ball ammunition, M855, green tip, or whatever happens to be current issue. We also shoot on service matches, the national match course, with these rifles. And we've had championship level national match course competitors on the service condition teams. What kind of result difference do they get? About 10%. That is the difference between high dollar, fancy, match grade equipment, firearms, ammunition, etc. versus the exact same ammo and weapons that you have in your arms room right now 10 percent and that's not unique to national match course shooting uh, i've done comparisons of things like uspsa classifiers comparing open class versus production what are the cutoffs for different classification brackets for example and it's about 10 percent there as well that's what the best match grade equipment gets you is 10 percent so any score that you could get with top level match equipment Drop 10% and that's what you're going to see with the uh, issue equipment. Now 10% is a lot in a match, but 10% off the national match course for someone that can win that puts you at a level where you're going to be hitting nines, maybe some eights with issue equipment, which is much smaller than the five ring on the qualification targets, which means someone who is classified in competition in the expert bracket, which is a 90% cutoff, can likely shoot a perfect qualification in the Marine Corps. And you don't have to shoot a perfect score, a 250, to earn an expert qualification because you only need to shoot a 220 for that. Oh wait, but you don't even have to shoot 220 anymore because uh, you add in the score from table two, add that together, and as long as the aggregate is 305 or better, now you made expert. That's the primary difference. The targets used in competition are much more stringent. The shooters are far better. Just as an example, I published a book some years ago called Beyond Expert. And I typically found that the cutoff from expert qualification, even sometimes a perfect qualification, a shooter would likely have to become three times better than that in order to have a high level result in a competition. Notice I didn't say win a championship. I mean to earn higher level honors like earn your distinguished rifleman badge, earn a master classification and the like. You making an expert qual means that you need to triple your results if you want to be effective compared to competitive shooting. And that includes if you're still using your issue equipment. That's the difference between qualification and competition. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, all the usual suspects. Let me know if you agree. Let me know if you disagree. I'm happy to chat with anyone that wants to talk. Thanks. Bye.